this is Terry at uh, Blade FPV. I just wanted to make a little video uh, about uh, connecting up my Kydex Turtle version 2. I had uh, did a build video on this uh, little quad earlier. It's an iFlight IH3 frame. I've got a Mamba 20 millimeter stack in it with AKK VTX and of course the Kydex uh, Turtle version 2 board here. And uh, I want to show you how I connected everything. Uh, I looked at several videos uh, on builds using the Kydex Turtle version 2. And a lot of those videos really didn't show a pin-to-pin -pin connectivity. So, uh, and when I made my video, I didn't show it either. And what I want to do is illustrate that by uh, creating a little PowerPoint diagram showing all the pinouts. And uh, let's take a look at that and uh, show you how I connected my Kydex Turtle version 2 in this little 3-inch frame. Okay, here is my PowerPoint presentation diagram. Here is my Kydex Turtle version 2 uh, pinout of the board. This is my Mamba Stack 20-20 millimeter and it shows you the pinout of the flight controller. And also it has the, uh, the power distribution board and uh, an ESC board under it. And this is my AKK VTX, okay? Let's start out with wiring the Kydex Turtle version two. The way you do this is basically connect this system up just like you would a camera just forget about the board just just the camera and on a camera you're going to have a power out a ground a video out and also probably an osd menu out so you can do configuration on your on your video or on your camera and that's exactly what the kydex uh, turtle version 2 is so uh, that's how I treated it, and I, I connected it to my flight controller exactly like that. So for my flight controller, the VCC, or the power I got from the VCC pin located here on my Mamba. And then for ground, I used the ground for my camera in. And also, if you see the ground, it goes to another OSD connector that uh, you have. I don't know why... It didn't show the connector here and the ribbon cable, but it, I can't find a diagram of that. But the ribbon cable has this as a connector, uh, two of these as a connector, the video connector, and a menu out as a connector. The menu is just the OSD connector, so I've actually got that hanging out of my frame so I can connect into it and configure everything that I need. And I'll tell you why I definitely got to have this out to configure everything here and a little bit later. So that's how I've got that connected to my flight controller. Okay, from the perspective of the VTX, how am I connecting it up? Well, I'm getting power right off the power pad here, going in right to the uh, uh, power for the uh, VTX. The ground, I actually put the ground up here on my video out from my flight controller. The video that's going out from my Mamba stat because I want OSD from the, the beta flight. I've, I've got that going out, going to my uh, video input into the uh, VTX. And the only other connector I've got uh, that I'm using is a smart audio. And I've got that going to uh, UART3 and I've connected it to TX3 pad here on my flight controller. And that's basically it. That's the way I've got it wired, and it seems to work really well. The video for the high definition on the Kydex Turtle version 2 is excellent. It's just as good as my uh, GoPro session is. Very good. And the reason that you definitely want to use this OSD connect to have it available is because when you do your configurations, and there's plenty of video on how to configure you know, this board and configure this camera, is that you would use this also to format your your memory card in this 
particular uh, board here and uh, I'm using a 64 gigabyte card that goes in there and I've formatted it and I've got it on auto record every time I turn it on. But again, there's plenty of videos on how to configure this system, but I didn't find many videos to show you how everything is wired up. So, uh, and again, basically I'm just treating this Kydex system just as a camera. That's, that's all. I'm connecting it just like I would as, as a camera and connecting my VTX just like I would any other VTX. But this is how I did it for this particular system here. So uh, here's a little video I made of uh, just the HD quality of how everything is configured. So if you got any questions, please contact me and enjoy the video.